So this is the final look that we've got going on here. Alright guys, it's time for me to revamp my guest bedroom and that includes the guest bathroom. And the first thing I've got to do is get this vanity taken to get, get it together. So the first thing that I want to do is to paint this um, vanity. Um, as you can see, it's leaning. That's because one of the, my cabinets um, in another room broke. And so I took the hinge from there. So I've got to reorder some hinges. I want to order some hardware and I want to paint this and I want to replace um, the faucet as well. And I'm also going to uh, replace the lights fixtures, I believe, maybe this one as well. But I've got to do something because this ain't hitting on nothing and you know, the holidays will be here soon. So got to get this taken care of. So I already wiped the cabinets down with just some all purpose cleaner and a paper towel. So it's clean from that first level, but I need to do a, you know, a second deeper clean on it. So what I'm going to be using is some TSP and water. All right, so I'm gonna use a half of a cup of TSP. No, that's not a half a cup, but I'll, I'll add some more in a second. And I've just got a bowl here, just a little bit more. That's about a half of a cup of TSP. And I'm going to use a half of a gallon of water. Gonna stir it up a bit. And now I'm gonna use this solution with some old rags to go ahead and clean the cabinet down now. TSP, you got to make sure that you really get it all the way off the surface. So I am just using some regular clean water right now and I'm going to wipe it down three or four times to make sure we get all that TSP off. All right. So I am going to attempt to take these doors off and the toilet paper holder that is on the side over here. I'm going to try to take that off. I'm not sure which I'm going to need for each door bracket, so I got um, a really tiny one in case it's a, I mean, a small one. And then I got a flathead and a um, regular Phillips screwdriver. And then the next step will be to start sanding. I'm going to be using 220 grit to sand. I was able to get the cabinet drawers off, but... I cannot get this off. I need a smaller screwdriver for the toilet paper. So let me go find one. So I found this kit right here from my ring thingy. And hopefully I can find a head that will work. I know I've got like a, um, you know, those eyeglass repair things, kits. But let's see if this works. We're we going to just skip that part of taking a toilet paper holder off for now. You know, hey, this is real life DIY projects, y'all. We come back to it, but for now, I'm gonna to jump to sanding. Um, I used the sander, the 220 grit sander, and as you guys can see, it's now been sanded, but I don't know how good I did it, but I did a couple of runs, but it doesn't really feel any different, but you know, I definitely did it. So, next step. So I'm just gonna wipe it down to get all of that um, dust from sanding off. So let's just wipe it down a bit. Some really profound person or book said, know yourself. And I know myself and that I cannot paint straight for nothing in the world. So I have taped her up and I'm gonna put some plastic wrap down. We, we can't be doing on this multiple coats and getting stuff wrong, going back, fixing. We gonna just tape it. 
we just gonna tape it. Got it off, but I had to use this right here. It's really tiny. This is the paint that I'm using. It's black from Valspar, or I'll put the, I'll put it in um, the comments what it was, what paint it was exactly. Small tray and a roller and a paintbrush. So I'm going to get started with painting now. officially got our first layer done. I'll probably do about two more layers or so, but I like it so far. So this is the final look that we've got going on here and I absolutely love it. I love those handlebars. They came from Amazon. So would you do this project? Let me know.